In this video, we'll be looking at two examples of projections. Remember in the previous video, we actually looked at how to decompose a vector V into two parts. We have this A here, which we chose to call the projection, which needs to be parallel to D. And then we have this B, which we choose to write as the orthogonal component of V perpendicular to D. We have formulas for them right over here, and now we're going to try to do to find them for a specific vector v and d. In the first problem, um, I'm asked for each of these pairs of vector v and d, sketch projection of v onto d and orthogonal component of v perpendicular to d on the same picture so that projection, orthogonal, and v form a right triangle. So that's asking you for exactly the same picture as the one from the goal here but for vectors that might be slightly different. So like I mentioned in the last video, D stands for direction, and that's because this right here is the information I've obtained from D. It's that line. I want to decompose V along that line and perpendicular to that line. So if I start at this tip here, I'm going to draw bring down a perpendicular, that's going to be the orthogonal. And then the blue is going to be the side here of the triangle that I'm missing. That's pretty close to the original picture. Now let's look at B. In B, the difference is D is very small, and it looks like that's going to make it difficult. But remember, we don't really care about the length of V. We really care about this line here. And so again, you could start at the tip of D and bring a perpendicular down, draw a perpendicular from it. So this is going to be our B, or orthogonal, and the projection, in this case, will be longer than D, but that's fine. That's fine. And then in the third example, the angle between V and D is obtuse. But again, we only care about this direction. And so we'll start at the tip of V and draw, bring a perpendicular down. And so this part here is going to be the orthogonal component of V perpendicular to D. And this part is going to be the projection. And again, you have a right triangle, and V is the sum of the two um, blue and red vectors. All right, in example 1.3.2, now we're looking at doing this algebraically. In the definition and in the theorem, we're given formulas. We want to use them here. We'll also give a sketch. Um, to make sure that everything fits with uh, our ideas of what a projection should be. All right, so let's see. I'm given V minus 2, 6, and I'm given a vector W, which is 2 minus 1. I want to write V as A plus B. As soon as you see this, you're thinking projection. Even if they don't use the letters A and B, if you write V as a sum of vectors, and then you're given on top of it that A is parallel and B is orthogonal, it's screaming projections at you. And then I have W. Well, A is parallel to W, so here really W is our direction, so it's our D. All right, so whatever direction you need, that's your D. All right, so let's find A. A is parallel, so that means it's the projection of uh, V onto W. Again, the direction goes in the index here. And the formula tells us to take the dot product of V and W divide by the length of W squared and W. So the direction appears a lot in this formula. It's W, 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 W. V is there only once. All right, so let's take a dot product of these two vectors here, minus 2 times 2 plus 6 times minus 1. Then I need the length of w squared, so that's square root of 2 squared plus minus 1 squared squared, and then w. All right, so I get minus 4 minus 6. I get minus 10. 
Um, here I get square root of 4 plus 1, so square root of 5 squared 5. The square root and the square will always cancel here, so that's going to be nice. I'm not going to end up with a square root. All right, and then so that's minus 2, so I get minus 4 minus two, uh, plus 2, sorry. All right, so that's our A. Now let's find our B. B is the orthogonal component of V in the direction of, uh, perpendicular to W. Uh, here you could use the formula we've seen here. You could use this big formula here, but since we've already computed the projection, I'm just going to take this second one and say it's V minus the projection. So here B is V minus the projection. So it's V, mi actually let me write it here, V minus the projection. And so V was minus 2, 6. The projection is minus 4, 2. So I get 2, 4. We have our A, we have our B. Now we're ready to sketch everything to make sure that the picture looks right. So let me put V and W first. So V is minus 2 and 6. So here is V. W is 2 minus 1. So here is W. Let me use blue and red because that's what we've been using. I'm going to use blue for minus 4, 2. I'm going to use blue for A. So minus 4, 2. So this is going to be A. And B is 2, 4. So 2, 4. I have this. This doesn't look quite right. It doesn't look quite right because I've put B, I started B at the same point as A, V, and W. If you look at all the pictures we have, even the ones that we have in the last example, we always put B at the tail of the blue vector so we can see the triangle. So let's move that B and let's place it here. And now it looks right. This is a right angle. A is parallel to W. It's in the same line. Good. Everything works.